Today we're going to talk about NAC, which is an abbreviation for a supplement called N-acetylcysteine. And if this supplement can help your kidney health, can it help you, should you take it? And what is all this about NAC? So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Healthy Kidney Inc. I'm Robert Galarowitz. I live kidney disease. I breathe kidney disease. It's my passion. It's my life because I'm living with a kidney transplant. I'm my 18th year now. So let's get into some good stuff to help your kidney health. So this piece of research comes from the American Journal of Translational Research, April 2021, and it's titled N-acetylcysteine for Chronic Kidney Disease, a Systemic Review and Meta-Analysis. We'll talk about the conclusion, and this isn't the first study on NAC. We have hundreds to thousands of studies on NAC and showing how it can benefit your kidneys. So yes, this supplement, which is also a medication, can benefit your kidney. So if you're worried about taking it, know that it's a very safe thing to take. Very low adverse reaction side effects. The medication is called mucomist, okay? It's a medication that they use for a variety of things. A doctor won't give you this medication for uh, kidney health, but you can go buy NAC at your local vitamin store, supplement store, health food store, online, wherever you purchase your supplements from. So what did they find out? In this meta-analysis, when they looked at all the research, they found three major findings. That people who took the NAC versus the people who didn't in their studies had a better kidney function, a better creatinine and a GFR at the end of the study period. We know that it reduced inflammation according to this study. And we know that from other studies too. NAC is good at reducing inflammation. And it also, it also helped protect adverse cardiovascular outcomes. So it helped reduce the amount of events of cardiovascular events that people had. So it was heart good, heart friendly. So NAC, it makes that glutathione which then does all these good things in your body. So the thing with NAC is if you buy it, it's one of those things that you're not going to see an immediate effect on your kidney function. Like if you take it now, you'll see in three months that it's better. It doesn't work exactly like that. What it would be is you would take the supplement and in three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, your kidney is going to be better than where it would be if you weren't taking it. So that's how NAC works. And another benefit is it does so many good things in the body from inflammation to liver health, reversing and improving cell damage. So the list of benefits goes on and on and on. And as the research says, it's very minimal uh, side effects, adverse reactions. So that's a real positive thing. Now, before you go out and get NAC, you need to know the dose. So you can just get one off the shelf, take it, probably not gonna do anything because you gotta get that right dose, okay? We know that that right dose is where all those good things start happening. So that number you're looking for is 1800 milligrams or more per day of N-acetylcysteine, okay? 1,800 milligrams or more. Generally, you'll find them in 600 milligram capsules, so you have to take three. A couple brands make a 900 and 1,000 milligram capsules, so with those you take two. You could always take more, but at least 1,800 milligrams. So NAC, consider it in your supplement protocol for your kidney health. Maybe it's something you wanna take, maybe it's not. You know how to use it how it benefits the kidney, what you can expect, and to your best kidney health, everybody, take a look at all our videos, our website, learn more about what you can do for your kidney health. This isn't the only supplement, there's many out there, um, others that I recommend before this, but if you're a person who wants to take a lot of pills, try out some NAC. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.